Good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay. Let's clean. Yes, sir. Yes. Somebody called me before the class and asked me to provide uh, the solution of the practice problems which we have posted in the website. Let me tell you one thing that the uh, answers, answer key of these practice problems are not fully available with me. These problems are taken from the book uh, Ghosh and Malik. Most of the problems are taken from book Ghosh and Malik. All the most of the problems are exercise problems, so you will not get answer keys and I have not solved all the problems. OK. That is one thing this about this problem set. About uh, this problem set, this is problem set two on kinematic analysis. All these problems are taken from Mariam and Craig. The, there is a book. Uh, called Mariam and Craig. Let me show you that book. This is the book which is available in the internet. You can download or you can buy this book. OK, the Indian edition is available in uh, available. Low cost editions is a very nice book for practice engineering mechanics. The, this part is called dynamics and uh, uh, the problems which I have given you in this uh, problem set. This problem sets all the problems are taken from this book only. Let me show some of the problems. Um, why I am showing you this? Because this book is a really very, very interesting and a very nice book. Uh, in our institute, we don't have separate course on dynamics, but most of the institute societies, they have uh, separate courses on dynamics. So this book has a very nice set of problems. We, when you solve those problems, your depth of understanding increases and your confidence of solving problems increases. So this is a book which is available. You can download from the Internet. And uh, for most of the problems at the end of the book, the answers are given. OK. Most of the problems, the answers are given in the and uh, from only one chapter, I have given you these problems in the problem set. OK. These all are two dimensional problems. There are three dimensional problems. We will also solve few three dimensional problems when we will uh, when we'll study uh, gyroscope. OK. Let me come back to our discussion. In our last class, we have discussed dynamic force analysis using graphical method, combined effect of all the forces, the first method where we have taken all the forces, uh, the effect of all the free body diagrams, or uh, a very uh, new technique we have used to find out the joint force. And the technique is uh, for a force, suppose two components of same force are available to us so can we find out that force so using that concept we found the joint forces and uh, using those joint forces we found other unknown forces okay then the second method we have uh, discussed is superposition method where separately we consider each action of each force and then find out what is the uh, combined effect. So 
we have started with this step one uh, completed little bit in this method what we do suppose there are four external three external forces so separately we consider effect of these three external forces or the moment required or torque required to overcome this uh, external forces separately we find out them and then you add them that gives you the actual torque required to overcome or run the mechanism right so we started this discussion and we said that from the free body diagram of link three we can see that two four this link three is a two force member remember that you may you may have confusion that well uh, link three has uh, its uh, moment of inertia and mass then the uh, inertia forces and moments must be considered but as we discussed that we present all the forces and moments it includes which includes the inertia forces and moments by this generalized force R3. Okay, so we no need to consider again and again the inertia forces and moments. They are considered here in this generalized force R3. Okay, so when we consider now for our case, this diagram, when you see this diagram, these forces are important. Now these links are considered as massless. When we represent inertia forces, moments, external forces, moments in terms of this general forces. In terms of this general forces, OK? So uh, we have, we have started with this diagram. And uh, this is a two force member and we proved that for a two force member, the forces must be along the uh, length of the link. Joint forces must be along the link or length of the link. We have uh, drawn the free body diagram of link four and we found the uh, joint force here. P34 is this. Okay. Once we have that, uh, uh, once we have this and the diagram is known to us, so the direction of the force is also known to us. That means so we can also find out uh, the force B14. So we start here our lecture number 17. And today is so uh, write down here P141 plus R4 plus and this force P341 is equals to zero. This is a vector diagram. This represents a vector diagram where this R4 is known to us from this. Uh, calculations we know what is this force then this force and this force known to us so you can find out what is the joint force p14 what is left now once you have this p34 you you have you can see that this p23 is equal to p4 and uh, p P3, P3, 4 which is known. That means for when we draw the free body diagram of link, when we draw the free body of link 2, which is like this free body diagram of link 2, which is subjected to some joint force here, which we will call, what we will call? P121. P121, it is subjected to some torque. What is this? We'll call it M21. And it is subjected to this force, P32, okay? 
P three two one. So P three two one is equal and opposite to P two three one. Okay. So this force is P one. And we have uh, the this this completes the free body diagram. So uh, this point is O2. Now you apply the moment of all the forces, summation of moment of all the forces about O2 equals to zero. That gives you what? Mm, if you know this distance, perpendicular distance, let's say this is. Um, some some name. If I keep this name D, uh, what name we have used? This is D four. Let's say this is D two. If this distance is two, and I am calling D two one. Okay. So if this distance is D two one, we have P three two one into D two one. Uh, plus m to one uh, is equals to zero. So from here you can see that you can find out d to one p three to one. Okay, so we have this, but uh, finally you also want to find out what is p two. You have to complete the force diagram here. P to one uh, must be to sp three two and opposite okay because there is no other force acting here so force and balance if you do you have this just equal and opposite you'll have in terms of p1 to task okay so this is what the problem now if we go for the Next part of the problem again, we what we will do, we'll simply copy this figure. Which will save our time. This is the analysis. Now we have to do uh, tell me which uh, diagram I should first draw. Which free body diagram? Three. Maybe. Huh? Free body diagram of link four. Let us draw free body diagram of link four. When you draw that, you have this is link four. Some force we don't know what is the direction and magnitude. P one for is two or we can use this two acting here and uh, force is acting here which is uh, two force mem yes sir. yes is it two? Uh, the two force members, so line of action of the forces along the length of the link, length. right? So P14, P4, 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 come off link three okay now we will draw free body diagram of link three when you draw free body diagram of link three suppose this is the link three it is subjected to the 
to this. This force is R3. It is subjected to a force. This P direction, right? P3, two, and it is subjected to some force. That is P. These are the forces that this point is A. So again, we will apply the moment equilibrium, which is uh, let's say if we know this perpendicular. This is E R three. So this then gives us minus E R three into R three plus e fourth. Let's say this distance is D. So we multiply uh, D three two. So we have this is equals to zero, and from here you can see that we can find out E R three R three divided by D two. Uh, one thing you must see here, depending on these values, these values. The sign of this depends. Okay. For this, so all the all these quantities are positive. That means this direction is fine. But somehow, if this uh, this become negative, that means this direction is just opposite. Okay. So with this, we found this joint force is to us once this joint force is known to us then again you will draw the vector diagram where you have p432 plus this r3 plus p232 that is equals to 0 when you do that suppose suppose this diagram is uh, look like this suppose this diagram looks like this i first draw r3 let's say this and then we draw this uh, p43 which is right now which we complete this uh, we have this vector you can measure the length of the vector and direction from here, which is P two three. Once you have P two three two, then what you need to uh, do, you need to draw the free body diagram of link to link to. Now you draw the free body diagram of link to. Well, Oh, what is the if if this diagram then this is the direction of T two three so I am drawing here P three two just equivalent opposite here okay this is P three two two okay and uh, the moment here is m to 2 and some joint force will be acting here so what is the direction and magnitude of this joint force we are writing it p1 again you this moment of force equals to zero this equilibrium equation would give you m to 2 minus According to this drawing, okay, suppose uh, the perpendicular distance, we'll call it 
d2 2 okay so this is d2 2 into p 3 2 2 is equals to 0 and we have m2 2 equal to d2 p 3 2 2 okay fine what is left the last term which is uh, we need to find out what p 1 2, 2. So to find out that obviously we will be three equal and opposite these two forces okay we are with the second step now we have to go for the third step in the third step we'll do the same thing we'll we will have this diagram we'll work with this diagram Okay. Now, uh, free body diagram should Bolo? free body diagram of link four. Chalo, link for Iraq. Link for so this is link four and uh, joint forces at here P one four three and there'll be some other joint force which now what about this P Three well enough, uh, one should be along the ink. This would be so okay. Actually, this. This one okay. is directions are not correct from this free body bag. Okay, now when you draw body bag, free what do you have for free body diagram of link three? So this is link three, and again. Uh, Say some force is joint for this is P two three three and he will have uh, another joint force. So if you see this is correct, then you have to draw that force here. This force is P four three. It, this is the free body diagram of P. A two force member, so that means this P has to be P for only are in equilibrium, right? Now you can Okay, to satisfy this Richter equation, the actual of P has to be P to be was it on the But suppose with these two forces P three acting on this link it's fine but is it no, it mm. might exist 
if if that means that so conclusive from in Along the length, they have to be along the length, right? Now P four three has to be the has then this r2 so if you know this distance almost perpendicular we have drawn it okay suppose this distance is e r2 then using this equation we can say that m2 minus e r2 into r2 okay we have not completed there is some thing missing here that is p um, one two one three, three. one two two okay so m2 m2 plus p plus two e r2 into r2 Okay, this is the value, right? Now, what about this P one two three? What is this? Adding all the forces equal to zero hmm? minus of R two. This uh, fixable. Huh? So this is this plus R two plus if there was a force P three two. That is equals to zero. Since 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 so we have this p one two three is equals to minus r two. Okay, so this way all the joint forces, yeah, as we have written here, all these joint forces. Joint forces can be find out this way. Okay, and finally, the moment which we have the expression of moment m two required to run the mechanism is equals to m two one, m two two, m two three. That is. Superposition principle. Okay.
up to this if you have any doubt you can ask me otherwise i will take a simple example the combined effect of all the forces do you have any doubt at this point if not let us discuss this dynamic analysis of sir sir please sir uh, jaise पिछली बार हम लोग ने देखा था कि ग्राफिकल मेथड किसी एक पॉइंट के लिए ही यूज किया जा सकता है yes. सर अभी हम लोग जो फोर्स कर रहे हैं यहाँ भी सर सिर्फ उसी इंस्टेंट के लिए है और एनालिटिकल yes. मेथड वो हमेशा के लिए अलग अलग पोजीशन के लिए भी वैलिड रहेगा राइट नो व्हाट इज योर क्वेश्चन सर अभी जो कर रहे हैं वो तो एक पॉइंट या एक इंस्टेंट के लिए दिस ग्राफिकल मेथड एज वी सेड ग्राफिकल मेथड इज वैलिड ओनली फॉर दैट इंस्टेंट ओके एट दिस कॉन्फिगरेशन व्हाट एवर मे बी द पोजीशंस रिलेटेड टू दैट व्हाट आर द जॉइंट फोर्सेस एंड अदर फोर्सेस एक्टिंग दिस इज रिलेटेड टू दैट ओके ओनली फॉर दैट इंस्टेंट एंड वी विल आफ्टर दिस टुडे विल डिस्कस two examples i believe i will discuss today and tomorrow in the next class tomorrow we will discuss the analytical method okay so why we are discussing this graphical method because uh, through graphical method you have some insight inside how the forces moments are acting how they are working okay this physical insight also necessary so that you will get from this discussion tomorrow we will discuss the analytical method okay theek hai dynamic force analysis of a slider crank mechanism so tuesday i i believe tuesday is a holiday so we'll have uh, three more classes and 20 lectures we can complete and uh, that is good enough for a mid sem syllabus well uh, part of the uh, of um, ply wheel basic things we will teach in this course so there is a uh, slider crank mechanism and the kinematic diagram looks like this maybe the crank is not that long but we have drawn it here like that okay this is the mechanism at this instant of time this angle is theta it is rotating in this direction with a constant angular speed constant angular speed this fixed is our link 1 mm -hmm. let us call this is link 2 link 3 and link 4 okay mm -hmm. what we have to do here is determine total force on the 
connecting rod? That is the question. Determine total force force on the connecting rod. So link three is the connecting rod. To do this analysis, what we what is the first step? Suppose the mass of this uh, is given. Mass of the connecting rod is mass and moment of inertia. Say let's say the mass m and moment of inertia is let's say i c3. These two are given for this connecting rod. Okay. We need to find out what is the total force acting on this connecting rod. Okay, before we do proceed, before we proceed for solving this equation, we must first find out the accelerations. Accelerations. Acceleration A. Three and uh, angular acceleration. Angular acceleration alpha three of link three. That is necessary, right? Otherwise, we cannot uh, we cannot solve this problem because when we draw the free body diagram of this link, we must first find out. What is the uh, what are the accelerations of these links? Okay, so let's start. Uh, suppose from the kinematic analysis, from we are not doing it here. From the kin kinematic analysis, we. We know this A3 and alpha 3. Suppose both of them are in positive direction. So uh, if if suppose this is the center of mass of this link, then we have this is the direction of A3. And suppose the positive direction, this is the direction of alpha 3. Suppose this is given to us. Or you can do the kinematic analysis as we did in our last uh, classes. You can find out these two quantities. Okay, once well, you have these two quantities, let's let's begin with the uh, free body diagram of link. Free body diagram of link three. So all other links are massless. Except three. Uh, it's not given here. All uh, all other. Let's let's do the analysis. You will see it. Okay. Okay, sir. All right, according to this uh, uh, problem which is given here, they are considering the uh, crank is massless. Let me proceed. It will be clear. OK, so first we will draw the free body diagram of link three. This is link three and uh, you can uh, say that there is no restriction along this direction, horizontal direction to this piston. That means there is no force acting along this thing. If it is frictionless, or simply say, let's say this is frictionless. So uh, along this direction, there is no resistance. So the force which is applied on the crank is only in the vertical direction. Yeah, that is for sure from this 
physical constraint. So this is the force we will call it P two P four three. Okay, this is the force we will call P four three, and uh, now if we say we have not presented all the forces and moments in in terms of general uh, force because they see the problem is not that tough, so uh, we have not converted this inertia forces and moments into a general force. Then we can represent this inertia forces and moments. So let us for let us represent these forces by this uh, dotted line so that uh, generally what happens in a free body diagram, you do not represent a fictitious force that is uh, the inertia force, but we are presenting. So we are presenting with this dotted line. OK, and this force, let's say this force is F. F3 I. OK. This force is F3I, the inertia force due to. Since I have uh, we have given the direction, so this is M into A3. The value is M into A3 and the direction is this, the inertia force. Now, what is the direction of inertia moment? Right. To the direction of acceleration. OK, let us call it M3 I. So this M3 I. Is to. I see is the I. I uh, what we have written I C3. I C3 is the moment of inertia multiplied with alpha 3. OK, when we can count it. This is a negative value. Take a direction is negative. <laughs> that is the second thing inertia force and inertia moment we have taken. Now we have to see what is the joint force acting here. In general, say there is suppose there is a joint force uh, acting here. We are showing you can show it in an other direction also and showing it in this direction. This is P force exerted by uh, link two on link three. OK. And as we did. For the combined effects, we find out its uh, tangential component tangential to the. Tangential to link. We will call it P two three tangential to three. OK. <coughs> sir, sir. Yes. Sir, why you took P four three upward in upward direction? Uh, see the uh, you can you can have a force in general. You can have a force uh, P four three like this. OK. All right now. If you if you dissolve this P43 into two directions, suppose you have a horizontal component of P43 and a vertical component of P43. Let us call it the uh, vertical component. Let us call it the horizontal component. Now this horizontal component is zero because there is no restriction along the horizontal direction. So we have only one component of force that is P43, which is upward. Is it fine? You can say it is downward at, at any instant. It can be and downward direction. OK, but the direction is this. Is it fine? Yes, sir. All right. Now let us uh, do the moment balance. About this point. Uh, what is this point? Let us call it point A. This point is A. So if we do the moment balance about point A, um, it is equals to zero. So what should we get? Suppose this distance, this distance is let's say E3. OK, so we have E3 into F. Sorry. 
so uh, please don't get uh, confused huh? when we write down the force direction a this we must write it this is negative right this is the force direction this is the force direction and that force is m a3 okay so we are writing this and you have a plus sign m 3i and you have a minus sign this length is let's say l3 that multiplied with p 2 3 m3 i is positive or negative huh? sir m3 i uh, positive or negative m3 i since in this direction we have to take this is negative okay then in because the yeah th this is this is negative but when you have the you have given this direction in this direction the value is m3 the difference between this and this representation we do not represent it in planar motion we do not represent it in terms of vector quantity just if the rotational direction is this that means this is minus into the value right okay sir equation See, we have given, suppose this alpha is positive. Still, we don't know what is alpha. And we consider this alpha is positive. IC3 into alpha 3. This value is a positive value. And its direction is just clockwise. OK, to represent the clockwise value of moment, we have to give a negative sign. OK. Yes, sir. Yes. Anna? Yes, sir. So, and then you just replace this whole thing here. At that time, you will have a negative sign here. Do you understand this? I have written yes, sir. M3i which is all right now uh, I must take this as a negative sign. that's what you are saying yes sir yes sir. so this since this is mi is in the clockwise direction so we must write in this way and then you substitute this value here okay I mean if you do this and then you have to present it like this. There, there should be, should not be, uh, you, I, I hope you have understood the thing. Yes, sir. So P, the confusion about the sign, you can fix it up. If you have understood, you can fix it up. Okay. P23 in the tangential direction, you will have a 1 by L3, E3 Okay, so from here we have the we have the value of p two three in the and its component, and uh, the direction is known to us from here. Now what we will do? Now we will uh, draw the free body diagram of link four link two free body diagram of link two. Body diagram of link to.
just uh, let me take this call. So for link to, we have this is link to. For link to, we draw the free body diagram. You have some force acting here. That is, let's say P one two, and uh, a component. Um, of this imports yeah this force p it was two three so it is three two is so this force is this one and that its tangential component P three to tangential to link not four. This is link two is this one. OK, and uh, it is subjected to some moment. M4, let us take the length of this link is L. And, uh, Obviously, we have here considered there is no mass. Let's say this is massless. That means there is no other force acting here. OK. So this P. Again, we will apply this moment let us call this point o2 so this point is o2 when we do that we have m4 which is negative and uh, plus p32 T2 and this distance is L4, not L4, link 2. So this is link 2 and that must be equals to 0. So from here, E3 to T2 is M4 by L2. Okay. So now we have P three two tangential to two P two three tangential to two and uh, already you have obtained P23 tangential to 3. And that is say uh, this, 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 that is say uh, in this direction. To make our life simple, let us draw like this. So this is P. To three tangential to three. Now, what we need to do, we need to draw the so let's change uh, actually in actual case you will have the length uh, the all the values, so you will you will not have any issue. Um, just m assuming and drawing so, so this diagram 
from the values, whatever you have here from the values, you can draw this diagram because you have the magnitude, you have the direction. OK, so this line gives you the direction and this gives you the value. So from that, using a scale, you can draw this. And from here, you have the value of this vector. OK, and uh, from this, you have the direction. So from both the vectors are with you. Now you can draw lines which are which are perpendicular and passing through the head of these vectors. And for this also, you can by drawing these lines. Finally, you have a intersection point here, and you have this. So what is this force then? P23. P23 force is now known to us. Once you have P23 force, can you find out P43? Write down the vector equation for uh, this. Just considering link two, you can write down the vector equation. P43 plus this F3i plus this P23, that must be equals to zero. If you see from here, P23, right now we obtain. This is P23 vector. OK, and then you, you have this F3i, which is like this. This is. P two three F three I and a, an actual case it is always that means there is some other Q okay. It has to be like this. This is P one two P four three P one P one Anna This one we have drawn here solve the problem. I would like to give you one assignment. Home assignment. This home assignment is from the problem set dynamics, force and motion analysis. So this this figure three is related to problem three. Okay, solve this problem submitted by Monday. That is so. I'll write practice problem four, number three. Practice problem set four, question number three is available in the internet. So you solve and submit. That's all for today. If you have any doubt, you can ask me now. Sir, in dimensional synthesis, uh, we need to use tracing paper. Yes. 
so sir uh, while giving exam in online mode hmm. uh, will the values length and angles of all the links will be given or then how will we copy it on tracing paper what are uh, uh, data necessary given to you if not given you will assume the length okay sir so then some of the problems it's uh, directly written in the books problem directly written what like uh, specific length and angles are given so in that case we need needed to copy it from the book or the paper directly okay in that case the diagram is given yes sir okay. mm, i will take care of that in that case right we cannot copy it from from your whatever mobile phone or computer you cannot copy the diagram so we need to give you the geometry geometry will be given for those cases okay okay sir any other question if no question is there class is over thank you thank you sir. thank you sir Thank you, sir. I have posted this and uh, the this problem you have to solve by Monday. Okay. No, not Monday. Before Monday class, you must submit. So I I'll give you time up to Sunday. Okay. Analysis. And this problem is now assigned to you all. There was a previous problem, previous uh, assignment I have given. You will submit that also here in this Microsoft team. OK. All right. Thank you.